Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today we're going to be doing a lot of build experiments. Also creating this lovely room you see behind me, and doing some deep water exploring. I hope you guys are ready. So guys, I have been thinking, you guys sent me a lot, and I mean a lot of comments, telling me kind of what your ideas are for our dome over there. And one of those ideas that I thought was really good, comments right there, um, was to turn it into a brewing, uh, like a brewing room where we can brew potions and stuff like that and, and convert that thing into some kind of brewery. Now, I think that is an awesome idea, but what if we use it to brew water breathing potions? I think water breathing potions would be awesome, but fishing for, you know, potions or fishing for, you know, fish in general, just fishing in general, it's kind of tedious and you kind of just sit here and and really just takes a lot of time when you could probably spend your time doing something else while you wait for fish to happen. Well, I have a solution. Uh, we're actually going to go ahead and sleep now that it's raining and then we're going to work on our first AFK farm. So Zoomiverse has an awesome, awesome video on uh, the 1.13 uh, farm, fishing farm. And it's super simple, super easy to, to set up. I do have, I'll have a link down in the description or you can continue to watch what I am doing here. Um, but it is, it's like so simple, so simple. So what you need to do is dig down four from the top block. So this needs to be four down, which should be pretty easy to get to. This one needs to be three down. So one, two, three, and then one, two, that'll make four. So we have four down here. Now, if we want to decorate this, of course, we can easily do that. I am going to actually take advantage of that and change the way this looks. Now there's gonna be a chest setting here, so I'm not too concerned about that, but the walls, I'm kind of, I'm gonna change them. I'm gonna change them a bit. There we go, almost done. And ta-da, it is finished. Okay, so down at the very, very bottom, we're gonna have um, these chests. So let's go ahead and place a chest right at the very bottom. Right above that, we're gonna have a hopper. Perfect. And then right here, we're gonna have a door but the door is going to be facing this direction. And then we're going to have two trip hook wires, which are going to go one's going to go here. One's going to go behind me. And then right here is going to be a ladder. Now this is going to be our way in and out, as you can see. Perfect. And then in the middle, it's going to get some water right there. Perfect. So with that set up, all we need to do now is to have an item frame, which I should have. I have to make an item frame. I haven't made them yet. So let's make item frame. I should have a few sticks. Boy, if I if I don't know the, the recipe for the item frame, I'm going to be so sad. Oh, good. Okay, so we're going to need uh, just really one item frame. Um, that should be all we need. And that item frame is going to go on the back here. And then I'm going to put a fish in here inside that item frame like that. And that is, guys, that is our AFK farm. So, what we should be able to do is come down here, stand over to the edge, and then look at the side of, uh, we need to look at the side of the item frame, and just hold down. Oh wait, we forgot one, one major thing. We need string. Guys, we need string. Um, string is over here, <laughs> as I derp around. I'm forgetting one major thing. I have to have string. What's going to activate the tripwire? String. So you can put string right here. There we go. Now it is set and should work. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's come down to the corner. And what we're going to do is we're going to just hold down the right mouse button. And you see it's going to rotate the, uh, the item frame in the background. And while it does that, fish are going to automatically be caught over time. So we just have to kind of sit here and wait. Oh, there we go. We got our first one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set here. I'm going to let this go for a little while and we're going to see how much we can get. Um, and if you want, it's probably best to put a fence around this. So that way you don't have zombies coming down here. Speaking of something awesome to get. Let's let's take a look here. We just got a puffer fish and that's what I'm after. I'm after a mass amount of puffer fish because we can get water breathing potions by brewing puffer fish and water breathing potions. Yeah, that's going to come in handy whenever we go to build this major uh, 
<laughs> this major, uh, what I would call it, um, walkway underwater. So yeah, it's going to be a huge benefit for having this. So I've been farming this for, I'd say, a couple of hours now. And I'd say this thing is really fast. And not to mention that, I got this awesome fishing rod out of this. This is kind of crazy, but this thing was almost broken and I seen it had mending on it. And when you fish, you get experience. So this thing had Unbreaking 3, which is, doesn't even need that on there. Uh, Luck of the Sea 2 and Luring 2, which is really great and actually helped out a lot once my first uh, once my first fishing rod broke. But we do have this one, which has Mending and Lure on it as well. And we do have a couple of others on here that I think has Luck of the Sea. And we can possibly combine these in an anvil to make the ultimate fishing rod. Guys, I think that would be awesome. You see all these fishing rods. We also got Loyalty 3 and Smite 4. We got Blast Protection 4 and Knockback 2 and Sharpness 3. These are some pretty nice things just in their self. Plus, we got these water bottles with no effects on them. Of course, they're just regular water bottles, which we're going to need because we're going to be working with potions anyways today. We got a Nautilus shell, which uh, we actually need a bunch of these Nautilus shells. We'll get them eventually, but we can get them from fishing, which is really nice, along with name tags. Name tags are so useful and can be used in so many ways. And we have so much cod. This is gonna be really great because we'll use that cod later. But the main thing I wanted, yeah, was puffer, puffer fish. And we got 34 puffer fish out of that. So much loot from just a small, small amount of AFK. I mean, we didn't AFK for very long at all. And look at that, we got bone as well. Uh, but yeah, a lot of really great stuff here. I'm not gonna complain, man. We got some pretty decent items, especially that Nautilus shell. That thing's gonna be really handy later on. But let's go ahead and do a, a few other things. I did want to make an anvil, so we're gonna have to get get with that. Um, I think I have just enough iron to do so, plus I have a bunch of iron as well, setting somewhere else. I did not mean to make that other one. Oh well. Um, and then we should be able to make an anvil. There's our anvil. Uh, we need somewhere to place this anvil. Um, I would say right here, but I don't know if that's gonna affect their spawn or anything uh, But we do need a diamond I'm just gonna use one diamond for right now. We do have a couple, but I'm gonna use one And I'm gonna repair my pickaxe now this pickaxe. It's not the greatest pickaxe in the world, but uh, it's, I can use one diamond versus using three to make a whole set so let's go ahead and throw this in here do this and yeah, we'll just we'll not worry about renaming it. It's only going to cost one experience. And that's going to add a little bit of durability on that, which is going to be perfect. It's exactly what we need. So we'll take that. We have everything else on us. Uh, we should be ready to go. What we're going to work on now is we're going to place down all that sand that we had built up. And yeah, we're going to have to place it down here. And we're going to work on that. That's going to take a little bit of time. But I mean, all in all, it should, should work out just fine. Uh, and we're going to make our way over to our island our little dome down there. And once we get to our dome, that's when the fun's gonna happen. We're gonna take down those pillars and we're gonna turn that thing into an awesome looking brewing room. I hope you guys, I mean, at least with the materials that we currently have, we're gonna turn it into a pretty good looking brewing room. I hope you guys are excited for that. But let's go ahead and get started with some of the other stuff. All right, so I made a little smaller section here just so I can do some testing. And then I went ahead and I have all this placed down to the bottom. I wanna go ahead and test this. And we're going to get this tested out. We're going to see how this works. Now, this is going to the cobblestone below. There is cobblestone down there. So that should all work out for us. It looks like that was part maybe where there wasn't cobblestone. Something like that. I don't know. I think we need to be in a boat. I think that would probably make this faster. Uh, let's try getting in our boat. I, I think you can break blocks at full speed while you're in your boat. Looks like our boat's also been trying to get away from us. There we go. We'll grab that. And we'll make our way to the other side. Plus, we'll, it'll allow us to pick up the blocks a little bit easier. Will this work? Yes. That actually works really nice. Okay. So yeah, we'll just kind of set here. And we'll focus on breaking all of these blocks. Now, this is three tall. And that's how big that room is going to be. Now, I mentioned this uh, in the previous episode that I, I potentially will have the walls have nothing on them. It'll just be the roof. And I think we could probably get away with that. 
Um, we'll find out whenever we start getting this built. But if we can get away with the walls being open, oh, that'd be so cool. Let's go ahead and make a brewing stand. And that should be pretty easy to make. We should just need stone, which I think I have stone just laying around somewhere. If not, we're going to smelt some up real quick. We only need, what, three pieces, I think? Three pieces of stone. I was cooking up some cod so we had some food so I can replace our, our bread source. This should give us a little bit more food. A little bit more bang for our buck. Um, and then I do need some warts, nether warts. I think I have all my brewing stuff in one of these chests. At least I did. Oh, there it is. So there's our wand, there's our nether warts, spider eyes. Not worried about the spider eyes because we're just going to make aqua potions and then go straight to puffer fish. Which is right there. And if I remember correctly, the brewing stand should be this. And that, or does it require obsidian? So, my derpy self thought it required stone slabs. I, I have no idea what I'm doing. I can't even vanilla. Um, but here's our brewing stand. And let's go ahead, we're just gonna place this down here for right now. And we're gonna get ourselves some blaze powder. And we'll throw that inside here. That'll get that all primed up. Let's get some glass. I, I think I have glass. Uh, I don't have it in here. It's, it's actually all down here is the glass. And yeah, we'll just get normal aqua potions. I know it's getting dark on us. But we're going to use regular glass. That'll give us three. That'll give us three bottles of water breathing. I'm just going to pull it from the ocean over here so we have such a large amount of water. It shouldn't even matter. All right, we'll throw that in there. Just like that. One of those, and that should brew those up pretty quick. And then we can throw in the puffer fish. And we'll be ready to place glass. So, I'm gonna go ahead and sleep, and I'll be right back. And this should give us three minutes of water breathing, which will be very handy. There we go. Th water breathing, just like that. Three minutes worth. Um, so, placing glass is going to become a little bit easier. A little bit. Just a, just a smidge. Um, so, let's speaking of glass, let's grab the amount of glass that we have. We don't have much. That's why I was doing a testing area. So, that way, I can just see how this is gonna work. Wow, that dolphin is totally playing with those blocks over there. Let's get our water breathing going on. Oh, this is going to be so much easier. So much easier. And we can break blocks at like full speed. Now, I know a lot of you guys said uh, in the comments, why don't you use connected textures? Well, or, or Optifine. Well, I know Optifine is currently in like a beta stage for 1.13.1. And I did try it out, I did install it, um, and these, this glass texture does not have connected texture support. So, that is kind of an issue. Yeah, so that was kind of a, kind of an issue. So we'll have to figure out how that works, but for right now, it, it just not, is not gonna work. Alright, so is this going to cause an issue? Let me get in through this way. And I wonder if, if I'm in if I'm in this this area and I close this off. Okay, that gets rid of the source blocks. I know it's it's pretty dark for you guys. Let's go ahead and place a torch. If I remove this, water is going to rush in. Okay, so is there a way to fix this? That's what I want to know. Well, breaking the bottom block. Let's place this back here. Um, well, breaking this block change that no it doesn't so we're pretty much forced to make the walls a certain way and that's just what we're going to have to do is literally we're gonna be stuck making the walls a certain way okay well that's that's fine I think what I'm gonna go with is I'm gonna do some glass and some of it water or some glass some of it uh, wood or however I plan on doing it, but it'll be something like that. It'll be something, something similar. Um, so we're probably gonna do like, we can even do cobblestone or, or something on the sides. And, I, you know what? I almost wonder if placing glass one more out will affect this. Will that affect it? Let's, let's test this out. I'm trying to test all these different possibilities. 
Because anything would be better than have to place all those extra blocks when they're not needed. So water still rushes in that way. Yeah, it, it's going to have to be fully enclosed. Bummer. Bummer, bummer. Well, we'll figure it out. We will figure it out. I think what I'll end up doing is uh, just completely replacing all of the blocks on the side with uh, with either glass. We could do glass, but I think it's just too much glass. I really do. I really think it's just way too much glass. So, like, dividing this up with some wood would probably look good. Like, every three, do wood. And, like, a log here. Oh, we need a water breathing potion. Our three minutes is up. Oh, wow. We don't have any breath, so it doesn't work. That's a water bottle. <laughs> no wonder it didn't work. Okay, so yeah, that's this is the pattern I'm going to go with. I'm going to try this out. And we're going to do... Wood every three, and then in between those will be glass. I think that would look good. I really do. I really think that's going to look pretty good. So I'm going to continue this pattern, and I'll see you guys in a bit. We got it separated by two. We have two pieces of glass, and then on the top, I went ahead and put a slab. I think it looks really good, actually. Let's go ahead and let's come up on the water. We're going to go ahead and break this. Let's get our shovel ready, because we're going to have to use it quite a bit. All right, and I don't have any more torches on me, but that's okay. We're just going to work on clearing this out. I got to be careful, actually, now that I mentioned that. Now that I mentioned I don't have any torches, we're going to go crap some. Because knowing my luck, I'm going to just leave to go get torches, come back, the whole thing's going to be full of mops. So I need to hurry, actually. I need to be very quick. Because we're going to have torches, or we're going to have mobs in there spawning. If I'm not careful. Okay. Alright, this is the hole, right? Or this is the hole. There we go. Now we can get this cleared out and see how it looks. I kind of like it. I don't know about you guys. But so far, it's looking pretty good. We may put slabs on the bottom. I'm still not positive on exactly what to do here. We may actually put glass on the bottom as well, so we can potentially see down there. Let's go ahead and throw some torches down. But for this being like a walkway, I think that looks really good. Not bad. Not bad for like the first few days of Minecraft, right? I mean, we only have one farm up so far. One AFK farm. We barely have any levels. We've barely done any mining. Um, we've only done like one extreme uh, sand mining session. And I mean, that's about it. So really, this isn't that bad for early on. I mean, I hope you guys are enjoying this. And uh, like I said, I am taking you guys' uh, you guys' plans, you guys' inspiration. And like I said, this is a multi-episode build. Much like many of the builds we're going to be working on, they're going to be multi-episode. Almost 100% guaranteed they will be multi-episode. Um, let's go ahead and do it this way. That way I just don't waste all the durability on my pick. Or on my uh, shovel. So, do you think I should do something like this to our underwater dome? I think I'm going to dress it up a little bit, get rid of a lot of the glass, and replace that glass with wood. I think wood, stuff like that, just being able to see out a little bit is really nice. I hear a drowned somewhere, but the drowned can't get in here. Just can't. But yeah, having a way to get up here, that's going to be the challenge. And I, like I said, we may have just a drop that just drops us straight down for right now. And that might work. And eventually we can probably put like ice in here or something like that. That way we can use a boat or something to travel over here really fast. Guys, I'm really liking this. I really am. I think this is looking pretty good. Uh, this side is not completely finished. That's okay. We will uh, throw some glass in here. 
Um, with the sides not being able to see anything, it may not even need to be glass, but that's just kind of continuing this pattern. Um, let's see, this would be regular wood, much like that. So, there we go. And, what do you think? What do you think? Let me know in the comments what you guys think about this. I don't know. And if you like it, give it a thumb up. Yeah, give this uh, this video a thumbs up. Uh, let me know if you guys are uh, enjoying this thus far. So, now that we have this done, let's go focus on the other part. We're going to focus on the interior of our brewing room, because this is going to take a little while to actually get this, all this sand placed, and then to get it like this, we're going to have to do a bit more brewing. Um, so, yeah, it's going to take a little time to get this so we can just walk on over there. Look at that. Look at the drowns coming after me because we've been down here. Oh, boy. He's going to turn into a drown. Look at him. Oh, wow. That's actually kind of... Will we be able to watch him actually drown? Will he turn right in front of us? Will he? Probably not. Probably not. He'd probably take some time. But anyways. <laughs> Look at him. He's in my boat. Get out of my boat. That's my boat. You crazy, crazy fella. All right, let's go dock this boat. That sounded like somebody was throwing something at me. All right, let's get out of here. Uh, we're going to go... Whoa. That was really loud. Was this thing... Was that that thing turning? <gasps> it was. I bet it was. I bet this was that zombie. That was really loud, actually. That caught me off guard. All right, I'm going to go ahead and sleep, and then we're going to start working on the dome, and I hope you guys are ready. So, we need to figure out how we're going to decorate. Now, I was thinking of a few ideas, and I don't know what you guys think, but I think maybe putting, like, slabs here, just to kind of cover up a, and break up some of the actual dome's glass texture would make things look a little bit nicer. Uh, and also, we're going to cover stuff up on the inside. I think mostly on the inside is what we need to cover up. And then if we could break stuff on the outside, that would be perfectly fine. Because this is a 5x5, five five, which I think makes a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So a 14. This is a 15 uh, by 15 uh, dome. So, I mean, it's not a perfect dome either. This is definitely not a perfect <laughs> size dome because technically this would be a perfect three by three here if that was the case, but it's not. So that's what we're probably going to do. I'm going to like kind of decorate this a little bit on some of these uh, corners that should be a little bit rounder, potentially. Um, and I know you guys don't like the floor, so the floor is definitely going to change. Uh, but look what's underneath. Like if you <laughs> open this up, we have access to the water below, which is kind of cool looking. But if we do that, we're letting letting water in. So I want to leave a little bit of, of a gap so that way I can fill it back in. But I'm going to get all this broke and I'll be back. And then we'll work on figuring out how we're going to design this floor. So I got this thing cleared out and we have a little buddy that is in here trying to play with the blocks that are all over the place, which is the cutest thing ever. Look at him. Wow. The mechanics of the dolphins are crazy. And I'm pretty sure he's like picking them up. It almost looks as if he's pick has like an inventory. I know he like grabs them and then spits them out. That is hilarious. I love that. That mechanic is so funny. Um, so we have some of these stripped logs. I want to try and attempt to use them potentially for the floor. So I was thinking of maybe placing these logs like so. Sort of in the center of the room. And doing the same for this side. And yeah, this is going to be just part of the floor. Like, I think the texture on these look really good for floor textures. Oh, don't want that. Do not want that. All right, so we got most of that done. Let's go ahead and strip these logs. There we go. 
And then some brick texture going on in here. I think would look really good. Like I said, this is going to be a more of a dungeon-ish type um, looking build. So it's going to have some, some dungeon-esque elements to it, that's for sure. All right, we'll get that side done. Because, I mean, we are going to have a brewery in here, so it is going to be brewing some stuff. If I had some dark wood, I would totally do that. I don't have access to dark wood yet, so... That is a bit of a problem. Oh, this actually... Mm, I think this this one, this is the side that's kind of messed up there. There we go. Perfect. Okay, that's an easy fix. Um, so, and then on the rest of this, we can do... This all the way out here. Let's fix that. We'll get all of this replaced. Right now it's going to fill with water. Which the dolphin may decide it to jump back in here again. But if it does, it, m it might get stuck. And that would be sad. That would be our first, first dolphin death of the series. Um, this one side is good. Continue building this. I know it's going to be a mess for right now. Just as we build on. Alright, let's continue breaking all this. And we'll get we'll get something going here in a minute. Definitely, we'll have something going. So, I know this may not be the prettiest looking thing ever, but I am limited on the amount of blocks and types of blocks that I have. So, this is kind of, yeah, I'd say meh level. Um, I am trying to figure out different ways of possibly making uh, this look like it's held up a little better. So that's where I was I was trying to use uh, different slabs, different types of stairs to kind of mix things up like that. Uh, to potentially make it look like there's columns or something like that going on here. I don't know. There's The problem is, right, at this point, I just don't have... Like, maybe we can revamp this later on. But at this point, I just don't have that many materials to sort of build with. Um, I do think I can actually fix this though and make it actually look a little bit better. A little bit better. Uh, so, I, I wish there was andesite stairs, but I know there's not. But there are stone slabs. And we could potentially make this look a little bit better with stone slabs, like that. That actually doesn't look half bad. The problem is, is we don't have that many. <laughs> so let's see, let's see what I can do. Let's see, we can we can throw the rest of this in here. I also need to figure out a place where I'm going to th uh, actually be storing and collecting, or uh, actually placing my nether wart. We're gonna figure out where we're gonna grow nether wart. That's gonna be potentially in these areas or these pockets. I might actually replace all of the, uh, the, the different blocks and materials here with with soul sand, and that'll definitely give it a darker vibe in here. Let's actually do that. Let's replace all of these. This could be replaced with soul sand, and that'll give it definitely a darker, darker sort of vibe here. Definitely add some different colors and actually life. Uh, plants and stuff would actually look good in here as well. We had some of those. And we're going to need these to grow because this is going to be like the f uh, like fundamental base for literally every potion we make. Alright, and the place that we set our potion, we should probably have a way of getting water. And I know underneath the, the platforms here, there is water. So, maybe like in the center of the room, we have a way to get water down here. So let's mine this out. I think there, yeah, there's a water hole down here. So all we can do is have slabs like that. And now we have an infinite water source. Okay, and then on the brewing stands, we do have uh, this one and then we have another rod. Where can we put these? Hmm. I mean, right here would not be bad. And a crafting table. That's going to be somewhere we can actually just throw this 
inside one of these blocks. That's not going to be a big deal. Uh, where where could I put this? Hmm, right here. There we go. So now we have a crafting table. Let's actually make some bottles. And you can see, right there, we can just collect those, throw the bottles in here. Let's pick our bottles back up. There we go. And we have another one laying around. Perfect. All right. And uh, yeah, with that being said, nether wart time. We can just throw nether wart inside these. After we get our blaze powder, let's throw blaze powder in here. We'll get one to start that one up. I'll throw two in this one. Might as well. And yeah, those should be just about ready to go. Uh, we do have, like I said, just a little room in here. Like, it's not anything super fancy. It just looks like it's being held up by stuff on the inside, which is definitely needed. I think that, like, having blocks that look like they're holding things up is, like, a must-have for this place. We could even do this. Just give it a little bit more uh, stability looking type stuff. I don't know. I'm just kind of I'm just kind of going with the flow. Uh, just building off the top of my head. You guys know you guys know how I build. Um, sometimes it can be kind of wacky, to be honest. But I I don't think that looks that bad, actually. For what it is, not bad. Especially for the amount of materials that we currently have, which is not many. Not many at all. Let's finish up doing the rest of that to the other sides. There we go. Um, we can even add some stairs, wooden stairs. Wood is something that we're, pr we're running pretty low on, but I think that adding the stairs... Uh, I actually don't like it with the stairs, is that weird? I really don't. I think it looks better without the stairs at the moment. Yeah, because it looks too... too rounded, which is just not working out that well. Um, we might be able to change all of these, though. With upside-down stairs. And that would probably look a little bit better. So yeah, replace all these with upside-down stairs. That will give it a little bit more detail. Yeah, and we can, I mean, we can still see out. I mean, that's the main point of this dome, is for it to be a dome. Um, but we have a brewing room. It's functional. This is working. We can come here and brew stuff. Now, um, I do have a chest, which is all I currently have. Uh, we should probably place that chest here. That'd actually probably be better, better for us. We'll place that chest there, so now we have somewhere where we can come in here. We can have our puffer fish ready to go. We have somewhere to store our fully grown nether warts. And yeah, we have a place to brew stuff. How cool is that? Uh, we can throw some glass in here. Uh, I actually had a furnace specifically for this task as well. I don't know exactly where to put the furnace. <laughs> We kind of have all this other area, all this extra stuff going on. And nowhere to put a furnace. So, eh. I think I'm not going to worry about a furnace. We're going to have a bunch of extra uh, bottles and stuff anyways. But yeah, look at that. Ready to go. Ready to brew that up. Ready to brew all of these and turn those into water breathing potions. Very nice, guys. I don't know. It doesn't look that bad, I don't think. It's a, it's a mixture of, of a lot of different colorful uh, blocks, like um, the andesite and stuff actually looks really good in here. Oh man, and it's going to look really good when we have like walkways where we can actually walk over here, and we're going to have ways where we can possibly curve through, and stuff like that, and, and just do some more adventuring. That's what this is all about. This is all about having fun, and building, and having some really cool adventures and stuff like that, so... I'm looking forward to all of that fun stuff. So, like this, I can just come here, get some water breathing, be like, all right, I'm gonna throw my water bottle back, and let's go take a look at all of this cool stuff over here. Like, we, we just haven't really had the time or, or had the amount of breath to even adventure over here. And I remember uh, before, I needed to actually break these, these chests. That was something that I, I meant to do, but never got around to doing it. 
There are quite a few chests in here. There's a door. If we stand here, can we break it faster? Yes, we can. So that is going to find its way somewhere else. Then there's a chest back here. And we had collected all these, uh, all these chests. Yeah, I know there's some other places that are near our base that with the amount of water breathing that we have, we have a couple minutes left. I think we might be able to... Oh, oh, oh! What in the world? That's a puffer fish! He just straight up attacked us. You're getting out of here, buddy. <laughs> Get out of here, puffer fish. That's the thing we need. <laughs> I was actually looking for those earlier and could not find them for the life of me. All right, I'm going to grab uh, another one of those potions out of here. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, you guys know what to do. Don't forget to click that subscribe button if you haven't already. And also ring that notification bell so you guys can be the first one to comment on my new videos as they do go live. And guys, if you haven't already liked this video, now would be a great time to do so if you did enjoy it. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.